All right, Josh uh, Simpson, uh, you're here in town uh, taking a look at uh, uh, Greater Victoria is a market for a CPL franchise. I heard there was an announcement today, but it was still tentative. Is that true? Uh, yeah, that's the case. At the moment, we're working hard uh, uh, with the city of Langford to nail down a lease agreement. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're very hopeful at this point. Now this all hinges on, uh, of all things, the movement of a utility pole, which apparently has a budget of approximately $4 million. Uh, what do you think the odds are that uh, this thing's going to get moved? Um, well, I mean, we're, I'm more focused on the, on the overall atmosphere at the stadium. Um, CPL is pretty, pretty strict on the requirements, so we're looking at uh, a minimum uh, uh, 6,000 seats. And how we're going to put that in and close in the stadium to provide the atmosphere that we're we're after. So that's where we're at. Um, uh, it's looking very positive. Sure, and, and nobody doubts uh, Stu Young's ability to get things done. And uh, he's he can get he can get things done. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm quite confident that uh, um, things move very fast um, and and they're very efficient. So. Uh, like I said, we're, we're very confident at this point and uh, hopeful and uh, as I said before, we're, um, uh, we're comfortable enough to announce uh, our plans for next, next year. Good, and then uh, so you have a total of six teams then, if, if Victoria's in? Um, no, uh, we will be, um, we'll be at least eight teams uh, for 2019. Oh, okay. All right, and then um, speaking of uh, that, that uh, you had tonight, we had the Highlanders up at uh, the University of Victoria. Um, are you planning to work with them in some capacity as a, uh, a team that feeds players or, or work together with scheduling or anything like that? Well, this is the best part about Victoria. It's not a great, uh, uh, it's not, it's not a great big place. So uh, you have the Highlanders, which is doing a fantastic job pushing football. Or soccer in uh, in the city of Victoria, and uh, we'll absolutely support them. and uh, And um, conversations already uh, already started. So, um, yeah, it's it's been nothing but positive feedback from their side, our side, and I think that um, uh, I think there will be a, a, a very smooth uh, collaboration. Oh, good, uh, great to hear. And then here you are uh, tonight at. Uh Wilson's Group uh, Stadium at Royal Athletic Park. You just took in uh, some of the uh, Harbour Cats game. Talk about the atmosphere here tonight. Uh, Royal Athletic Park's always a great place to be. So I grew up um, coming here to watch Victoria United uh, a number of years ago, and uh, and it was a great opportunity to see the the home opener, and it was a super atmosphere. So very exciting. Good stuff. Well, thank you for this, and, and good luck uh, with the team going forward. Absolutely. No problem. Thanks. Hi, Christopher Kelsall here with Victoria Sports News. Join us Saturday, June 23rd for the Harbor Cats Ballpark 5K.